Welcome to Oxenfree. This is an adventure game where you play as Alex, someone who's traveling with their stepbrother on a boat to some sort of an island party, and then supernatural things start to happen. That's about all I know about it. Uh, I've heard some really good things, so let's go ahead and jump into it. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skin- Ah! Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so... Tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. No, it it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. I don't know. He sometimes gets on my nerves. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard... Um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Gotta say, Ren is so, so obnoxious. Oh my god. I hate the way they talk and everything about them. I know supernatural stuff happens, and given that we just split up, I'm crossing my fingers that maybe Ren has been, like, murdered by a ghost or something, or just teleported to another dimension. I can only hope. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Kitchy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. What? Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. But uh, maybe I heard... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? On October yeah. 28, I hate thinking about it. It, it reminds Japanese me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. 
There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. <laughs> Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing I like about people. Tall. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. I wouldn't really say that's very early. It was 8 p.m. on the boat a little while ago, right? Kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh huh. Really? That's kind of gross. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. So to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing, is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery. The same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. Alright, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thank you, I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. <laughs> well, uh, we'll stop now. I'll stop. The adventure awaits. Can I push Ren off this bridge here? This looks like a good place to push him off. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it prompted me for this. Um, oh, so we have a map of the whole place. For guided tour, tune into station 102.3. It's the one we just tuned into for the the monument, right? Oh, I see a couple other people around the Discovery Cliffs. Wow, this place is really big. There's a lot here. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Heck yeah, teamwork.
Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j- just be cool. Okay. Oh, if I have the chance to sabotage Ren's chance with this person, I am so gonna do that. Okay. No pouting or complaining or anything. All right. Deal. Be cool. Don't be like. Just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, Just leave it alone, Re- Reginald. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh well, that can wait. Yeah, just mountain climbing. No big deal. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... (laughs) We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... (laughs) Oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? (laughs) That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona. Well, that explains it. Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! (laughs) Uh, I think the game may be just locked. The loading screen disappeared, and now I'm just... I've been staring at a black screen for like 30 seconds. Oh, what the... I just like clicked and now Fire. it came back. Man's okay. great equalizer. So what's the um what's the like thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean if this is pretty much a one time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a- we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. 
You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something <laughs> like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... That's all. She's cool. She's... She's cool, just... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. He... You told me you liked her. Why did you even try to cover... You knew I knew. I'm standing right here. Because I asked you to be cool about it, and now you're being, like, whatever the complete opposite of cool is. Hot! But in a bad way. All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. Hush, this is for your honor. Watch and relish. My pleasure. <laughs> and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Well, wait. What's your worst fear? That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I guess. It's all I, I can- I kinda get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Well, it's fine Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't- I don't really need to know the situation before. It's- it's none of my business. It is your business. Your family now, so... Let's hear it out. Why'd your parents get a divorce, Alex? Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure... You know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should, like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any... Um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots. Exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Please die while spelunking Alex, in that you cave. Check out the caves, or uh. Well, if you wanna, just let me know, and we'll hop over. I wanna check out up here first. <laughs> Oh, oh, I forgot. We never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh, they went to that weird carnival. <laughs> How'd he even get Jenny out of the house? <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? They just, it was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks and they, like, she wanted something like a named thing? Oh, God. Yeah, like, like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. 
and they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of like the stuff. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. Of course, that's how it went. Ah, oh, this goes to the Where Adler was the estate. You were here. Oh, I see. So the estate's kind of pretty isolated from everything else, kind of on the outskirts. Two, two years ago. Really? Yeah, it's been a while. But whatever. I really like the art style of this game. It's really pretty. God, this whole thing is so miserable, isn't it? Like, everybody's miserable right now, except for Ren, but Ren's just annoying as hell. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at that picture that they took. Yeah, they took a... Nona took a beautiful picture of incredible awkwardness. As you can see by the fact that everybody in the picture but Nona is unhappy. Thanks for making the fire. Yeah, sure. Gotta put those owl scout lessons to use. Look, Nona, now that we're not playing that stupid game, what do you really think about Ren? Uh, what do you mean? You know, just in general, I guess. He's neat, I guess. Sometimes he acts a little weird, but weird is good. It's better than normal. Look, Alex. Rin seems nice, and I know he's your friend and, you know, whatever, but I'm just not in the mood for something right now. Um, so if you could just, like, tell him that? Just so he, like, doesn't get his hopes up or whatever? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. I would love to. I would love nothing more. You look relaxed. I am relaxed. Are you alright? Did something happen today or something? Something happens every day. Okay. Huh. Let's go to the cave. Island living, huh? Uh, yep. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. Alright, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. Ren! I'm standing right here! Oh. You know, I keep forgetting you're a girl. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the game? I mean, okay, fine. Fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. I did. Look, Ren... She told me to tell you that she's not in the mood for a relationship. Man, I knew when Clarissa dug in that it would screw the whole thing up with her. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. Ugh. There's other girls out there, Ren. It's not like little hamster girl Nona is like the one for you. Seriously, forget about it. Yeah, you're right. Who cares? I'll get over it. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No, never. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? 
The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. I was wondering what these cairns were about. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Oh, a number station. Well, at least I assume so. It's Morse code anyway. I would decode it, but it would take me about five hours, so maybe not. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um... Didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. got a flashlight. And thank God we're away from Ren. Ah, oh, blissful peace, do you hear that? That's the sound of no Ren talking. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to try to find Jonas in the cave.